Wall number three. If a bad guy has unrestricted physical access to your computer, it's not your computer anymore. When this principle was created, it was 100% true. During one of the previous modules, we've learned that if someone is able to run his own operating system on a computer, he can change the administrator password of the computer. He can also remove its hard drive and make a copy of it. Nothing can stop him from doing that. At present, the situation is different thanks to software that enables you to encrypt whole hard drives, system partitions included. Full encryptions prevent unauthorized people from reading and modifying hard drive contents, even if they have physical access to the hard drive. If the encryption mechanism was well designed, every modification attempt would be a blind guess. Even so, we can state that the third law is still valid. To encrypt data, you need a key. The same key is needed for decryption. Users prefer automatic encryption the most. They also prefer not to type long strings of symbols every time they start the system. In the case of automatic encryption, the decryption key is saved on the system. If a person gets physical access to a computer, they also get access to the key. Having the key, they would easily decrypt and read the data. The third law is still largely valid despite modern solutions we discussed. The exception is when the decryption key isn't stored on the computer or the storage is secured. The TPM most computers are suited with nowadays gives you this possibility. We will elaborate on that more in one of the next modules.